Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to spoilers on Young and the Restless, Ultra Charles might need a new romantic partner soon. Although it's obvious that Ultra truly feels something for Kyle Abbott, their romance has been clouded by the business drama they're both involved in. Since Kyle returned to work like a mole, Audra, and he have been playing each other, but Tucker McCall had already told Audra that this would happen. Even though Audra would like to think that Kyle can still be convinced to join them, she will soon begin to have serious concerns about his allegiance. The romantic relationship between Audra and Kyle is not going to survive the unavoidable explosion that this whole situation will cause. In light of that, Audra might eventually meet a new man. Since Nate Hesting's relationship with Victoria Newman appears to be finished, he is one of the better alternatives for Audra on canvas. There is usually a flirtatious vibe between Audra and Nate when they are together. Maybe it's time to give Audra and Nate's relationship another look. There was a moment when she was prepared to go for Nate and win him over. Some fans are also hoping for a collaboration between Audra and Adam Newman. Could Audra tempt Adam if Sally Spectra makes him wait too long? Since Adam blackmailed Audra, there is some bad history here, but they may easily move past any tension. Since Audra would definitely make the same decision herself, she should genuinely be impressed. Adam and Audra appear to be a wonderful match because they both have cunning personalities. Naturally, Y and R writers would have Audra end up in bed with Nick Newman if they truly wanted to get soap operatic. Given that Audra is no Newman's ex-wife and may have played a role in Summer Newman's marriage dissolution, Nick's relationship with her would be extremely problematic. In any case, stay tuned for updates on Audra's future as we might have some developments regarding her romantic life. According to Young and the Restless Teasers, Victoria Newman will seek DMA testing to verify Aunt Jordan's allegations when she and the others at the lake house escape the situation. Given that Jordan has obviously been lying to and controlling Claire Grace from the beginning, she will undoubtedly seek definitive answers in one form or another as well. Claire was raised with the impression that Victoria and Cole Howard had just ignored her. Jordan gave Claire the impression that Cole and Victoria didn't want her, leading her to believe the narrative about their baby's death was a lie. Actually, Victoria and Cole were tricked into thinking Claire, or young Eve Nicole Howard, had died. Jordan took Claire from a hospital, replaced her with a different child, and caused the Newmans to suffer for that loss. Of course, given her history of crazy behavior, the Newmans can't simply believe what Jordan says. It seems sense that a DNA test will be conducted once this potentially fatal situation is resolved, because Claire is also a loss for believing anything Jordan says these days. The authors may then allow Claire and Victoria to obtain DNA proof that they are, in fact, mother and daughter. After everything that has happened, Y and R might go straight into the next chapter of the plot and dramatize whether Victoria can still be in love with Claire. On the other side, if the show decides to stretch things out a little bit longer, there might be a chance for some DNA test manipulation. After Claire's part in the nightmare that she and Jordan helped to create, would Nikki and Victor Newman realize they no longer want a lasting relationship with Claire? To further Claire's revenge plot, Victor or Nikki may have fought off the appropriate parties to manipulate the DNA findings and give the impression that Jordan misrepresented Claire's ancestry. However, Nick Newman may be the one to change, believing that he is doing so to keep Victoria safe. It might even be another person on the canvas, with very different intentions. In any event, there's always a chance that DNA testing on soap operas has been tampered with, so watch this space for updates on Claire's impending test results and whether or not Victoria will receive real confirmation. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, Victoria and Claire will soon learn some significant information. The newest member of the Y and R cast hints at Jordan's scheme to deceive the Newman family. When Colleen Zenk made her highly anticipated debut on The Young and the Restless earlier this month, 
it was as Claire's cunning Aunt Jordan, the beloved actress who spent decades as Barbara Ryan on as the world turns talks with Soap Hub about her new role. Zemp declares, I'm just so excited to be here and to be taking on this amazing role. It's been really, really lovely. The actress disclosed that she got the call from Josh Griffith, the show's executive producer and head writer, last summer, which led to her joining Y&R. He asked whether I was interested after giving me an idea of what he was looking for. I promised to board the following aircraft. In order to make her comeback to soap operas seem unexpected, Zenk had to keep things under wraps. She shared her chance with her kids and a select group of close friends in Florida, where she currently resides. But that was it. I announced to Maura West, the former Carly from ATWT, who is currently Ava at General Hospital, that I would be traveling to Los Angeles to see my daughter Georgia. Despite our ongoing text exchanges, I kept it a secret from her, especially since she had a relationship with Haley Erin Grace, who played Maura's daughter on GH. Aunt Jordan, who is she? Since Zeng's premiere, viewers have begun to learn more about Aunt Jordan. Although Barbara on The Apprentice used cunning to achieve her goals, viewers have already seen that Jordan is willing to go to far greater, possibly lethal lengths. Jordan has a long-term master plan that has been in the works to deal with the Newmans, Zenk hints, is quite intimate to both Claire and her. There will be a cost involved. Zenk brought up memories of vintage soap opera tags with her cryptic presence in the closing minutes of her debut episode. Recall the moment when James Stenbeck from ATWT made a dramatic comeback and startled Zenk's character by saying, Hello, Barbara. Zenk exclaims, They did an amazing job setting up my entrance. I felt it was excellent. The word world has been infused into everything on CBS. As part of CBS's celebration of the network's daytime division being no. One for 30 years, Zenk appeared on the talk in 2016 alongside Ellen Dolan of ATWT, Martha Byrne, and the late, great Elizabeth Hubbard. While it makes perfect sense to have ATWT performers appear on Y and R, Zenk claims that the timing of this invitation is just ideal. I was occupied with other tasks, Zenk remarks. This arrived at the ideal moment. I don't think it would have worked before now. Together again for the first time when Zenk arrived at Y and R, she was greeted by a familiar face in particular, Christian LeBlanc, who portrayed Kirk McCall on ATWT from 1983 to 1985. Zenk grinned and said, We jumped into each other's arms the minute we saw each other. We went out, caught up, and had a great long lunch. Young and the Respice rumors indicate that after Victoria Newman asks why Claire Grace called her mother, Claire will become enraged and accuse Victoria and Cole Howard of abandoning her. It will become evident that Claire thinks Cole and Victoria abandoned her when she was still a baby, but Cole and Victoria will maintain that Eve Nicole Howard was born too soon and passed away. Claire would argue that was only a front and believe that she was never part of Victoria's original intentions. Claire will eventually question Victor Newman about whether he coerced Victoria into lying about herself out of concern that she would ruin the Newman family reputation. Victor will undoubtedly support Victoria and pretend that Aunt Jordan is a crazy person who has been saying absurd things. As the fight intensifies, Nick Newman, Victoria, and Victor will also begin to experience the effects of the poison. They will struggle with nausea and vertigo. The Newmans must persuade both Claire and Jordan that there are antidote vials in two different locations throughout the house if they are to survive. Jordan will make it obvious that she is in charge of this situation and that she will decline Victor's money because the goal is to cause Eve's tormentors as much suffering as possible. Jordan won't allow Victor to enjoy the satisfaction of becoming a martyr, even though he will volunteer to give his life in order to save the others. Claire will persist in her attempts to persuade Victoria and Cole that they rejected her, but they will not accept that Claire is not their infant daughter who died. Jordan will finally acknowledge that Claire is, in fact, Cole and Victor's daughter. To substantiate her claim, she will provide the time of Claire's birth and Victoria's room number. 
Claire will imply that it's simple to steal from a hospital when you're a nurse in a crowded maternity ward after Jordan admits to doing so. It will become clear that Jordan tricked Victoria and Cole into believing their daughter had died or substituting another baby for her. Jordan would imply that she wanted to ensure the Newmans lost something as well because she was so upset about what had happened to Eve. Jordan's updates would surprise Claire because, up until now, she had been informed she was unwanted and unloved. Jordan will pretend that nothing changes, but given how much deception Claire has been exposed to, it will undoubtedly be a turning point in her life. Jordan would argue that Victoria and Cole ought to have been able to sense Claire's presence if they truly desired her. Victoria would argue that since the effects of the poison are still being felt, it is impossible for them to have known that. Victoria will act as though Cole and the others should be free because Claire has a grudge against them. Melody Thomas Scott's character, Nikki Newman, would imagine that Victor is angry with her for abandoning her sobriety when she is upstairs. But soon, Nikki will receive the motivation she needs to get out of that bed and fight back thanks to this vision of Victor. The Newmans will be wondering what the loud noise was as Nikki takes out her IV and lets the stand fall to the ground. Jordan, trying to draw attention to her horror show, will put the blame on the cat. Nikki will continue to see Claire torturing her in the meantime, but she will force herself to ignore the hallucination and go to the bathroom to wash her face. Victor will slip upstairs, looking rough from the poisoning, yet he'll scream out for Nikki. Victor will succeed in breaking through the door once Nikki yells at him, at which point he will run to give her a passionate hug. Nick will then abuse Jordan in Tuesday's Y&R episode, demanding the antidote as she rushes upstairs and manages to escape him. Jordan will cut his chest, leaving Nick gasping in agony as he tries to intervene. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.